Okay, so we're going to look at a small program to look at when we might need to either round up, round down, or round to two decimal places, or to a few decimal places. So what we're going to have here is a small program that's going to calculate, based on the amount of sand that we have, how many bags we can fill. For example, say I'm playing sand or build a builder sand. So if we quickly run this program, and over here, if we say we've got 55 kilograms of sand, and let's just say a bag takes 25 kilos. If we press the enter key, it'll say we can fill 2.2 bags of sand. Now that basically means that we can't fill 3 bags. So we can actually only sell 2 bags of sand. So what we're going to need to do is alter this number here, this variable here, called number of bags, so that we can actually only fill 2 complete bags of sand. So we're going to need to round it down. So the first thing we're going to do is just move the program down a bit and we're going to import the math library. And what we're going to say here, now you can do this on one line, but after we build, we actually calculate number of bags, we're going to say that number of bags equals whatever it was. And what we're going to say is math.floor. And we're just going to open the bracket and close the bracket. Now if we save that program and we run it with exactly the same data, so if we say we've got 55 kilos of sand, our bags are all 25, we can fill two bags of sand. So that is using the math.floor function in order to round down. Now we didn't actually need to um, do that on a separate line. We could have actually just deleted that one there and said math.floor there and that would give us the same result. Now the only downside of that is sometimes you may want to store the raw number, that 2.2, just so that you, you may you may have done some something else with it. But in this example that would be fine. So in this program we're going to look at using the rounding up function. So what we have here is a simple program that's going to ask for the amount of pupils that are going on a school trip, how many seats we can have on a coach, and then how and the output is going to be how many coaches we need. So if we quickly just run this program, if we say that we've got 42 pupils and we can only fit 25 on a small coach, it's saying that we need 1.68 coaches. Now obviously we can't order 0.7 of a coach, so what we're going to need to do is round that up to the nearest whole number, which would be 2. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to import the math library and just like before, what we're going to say is we'll put it on a separate line just to make life a bit more read readable. We're going to say that the number of coaches is whatever the number of coaches was before but math dot and this function we're going to use is math dot seal. This basically stands for ceiling, which is up, which is tall, which means that it's going to round it up. So if we save that and we run it with the same data again, so 42 pupils and the same bus size of 25 on a coach, you'll see that we need two coaches. So just to summarise, math.seal will round up to the nearest integer and math.floor will round down to the nearest integer.